For the ones that don't know, try it's an uh, ID that works with LLMs, so you can start building your project with uh, AI. And uh, they are like uh, in the market for a couple of uh, months. They have been uh, releasing new features to their AI functionalities. And lately they have added their pricing tire, which uh, is very affordable and has some free options. And in this video, we are going to go and uh, check try and if it does good with AI. So basically this is their website. And uh, in, uh, let's say on a previous video with Z, I've managed to build uh, this website with only one prompt. And uh, in this video, we are going to see how try it did when you are trying the same prompt in uh, in uh, their agent. And you see that the Z website, it looks very good and it's very interesting. The about page, again, it looks very good. It has also some details, services. Again, you have the complete services. This project is very complete and it looks very nice. This is what uh, ZAI did with Cloud4. We're going to see Try, but first let's go and check more on Try. So yeah, this is their website, Try.ai. And yeah, in here you'll have the options to upgrade to the Pro and we're first going to check their pricing. Basically, basically you were going to see this. So you have like a free option and $10 a month monthly options that will have 600 fast requests. In the four months, they, it will be like $3. I'm already upgraded this and took the plan. And then here you can see the difference. So you see that you have the fast request in free 600 a month and you have unlimited slow requests. Extra fast requests if you want to process more and uh, advanced mode, this is just to work with uh, Gemini 2.5 flash and you have unlimited, I completions are unlimited. So this plan has been just released and if you're going to check for instance the year one, it's even cheaper. And uh, yeah, this is what they have and if you're going to check my plan, let's go to the account, plan and billing. Okay, you see that I am on Pro and if you're going to check the usage, you see that I have used only one prompt because I've asked him to create this uh, website. And if you're going to check the interface in here, you see that we have the project and in the right side, you have the agent. So to activate it, you go in here and toggle the AI sidebar. And in here you have their sidebar where you can chat with the agents. You have some settings in here to see the agents. For instance, you see the default agents, builder and builder with MCP. Another thing that you may have in here are the NCP. So you can add various NCP in here. I've added context seven, that, that goes search and fetch just to have some details again in case I want to do more and in here you have the options to add rules and you can create rules for your uh, project in here you have the models and in here you see that these are the models you can add your own models with API keys and in the models we have the premium models that are the cloud Gemini chat GPT ones and you have the advanced model so is the flash one and so on and in here, let me go and check the prompt. I've just asked him to create the website for us. So this is the same prompt that I've used in the past with ZAI and with Augment Code. I will let the link to the description for these videos. And in here, you see, I just told him that I have Astro installed and we tailored CSS for configure. And I want to have a menu, hero section, services, testimonial sections and uh, things like that. I want to have SVGs created. Basically, I'm testing with the same prompt because I want to see the difference between different IDs and how they are working with AI and which one it's better. So in this video, I will not uh, gonna run again this prompt. We're gonna run something after just to see how it's it does. And in here you see that uh, it started with build with MCP and it used the cloud for Sonnet. And in here you can change the model on your liking. And in here you can add context, you can change the agent, you can add images if you want and so on. And yeah, in here you see that it's starting reading the files. 
and then it uh, just started creating the components for us. So I think this took about five minutes to complete. This is very fast. And we're asking him to add a dark mode to this after we're going to check it. You see, you have the logs, you have the icons in the at sets. Then you will have the main layout that has been created. In here, you have the main layout like this. Okay, then you have the header, you have the footer components and you can review them from, from here. Testimonials, okay, in here uh, it ran for too long. I asked him to continue and it started to create a project call to action, index, about services, contact page, the readme. And at the end, uh, it provided a nice summary. So yeah, I mean, it's uh, in par with the other things. And what I will do right now, I will go and check the website. So basically this is the website that it created. So in here, let's see, this is the website and it looks quite good and it has like a modern design. It's comparable with what the Augment code did and what ZAI did. Z is more complex, but this one, it's very nice. So yeah, also, and uh, at about, again, you will have some details. Is more simple page in the services. Again, you will have the services with the process, with the call to action. And then you have the contact that it's similar with frequently asked questions. So yeah, this it looks nice and the design is uh, quite good. And for instance, if you try to add something to this, you just tell it, please add a dark mode and also add a su suite in the header. So I just want to show you how this is working and afterwards we are going to see if we have some extra calls in my account. And in here you see that it started to check again all the files and it will check them. I'm curious to see if the account settings usage increased. Okay, not right now, maybe when it will finish. Let's see, let, let this work and see how it's working. So you see, don't actually need to do anything. And in here you have the files that have been modified. You can check the files and the modification. It will look like this. You see that it started to add a dark mode. And right now it will work. One thing that you should be aware of, uh, it is the fact that if you try to upgrade, maybe you will not be able to because this plan is not available in all the countries. I don't know right now if it, why is not telling the $3 price. Maybe it was, um, I don't know, for a limited time. But what I did to have this, I've just used a VPN and uh, used the USA area and I was able to register an account in Romania. So I'm using it right now normally. So in case you don't have like an options to buy it in our country, because yeah, you have some limited countries right now, they're working on added, uh, add more. You can do that and see if it's working with a VPN. And again, in here you have more details about the limits and things like that. They say that they have like a plan with three, seven and 12, I guess. This is an on the roadmap and they can use this credit card. Okay. And these are some details. I just wanted to let you know about this and let's go and see what is happening. So right now, this is working and I'm curious to see if the dark mode will be added successfully. Again, I'm curious to see the usage. I want to see if this, it will be treated at the end. Account, okay, usage, still one. Okay, so it didn't took anything. Right now this is just working and it's updating everything for me. Okay, right now it's going to services. It goes to about project. 
So I guess this will take another minute or two to finish because there are some components in here. You see that you have like all the components, layout, pages. Okay. And in this way, we're going to check also if there is any error for this. Sorry, I have my cat near in here and uh, she doesn't let me register the video properly. It's down here. <laughs> okay, so you see that the interface is quite nice. Yeah, I'm curious to see if the toggle will work and if the site will look this decent in dark and light mode. Okay, it should not have a lot of things to do right now. It's working on the contact pages should be about the page, not the component. Sorry, now we see what they modify main layout, header, footer, hero, services, projects, contact page. Okay. So it checks this in chunks and modifies the chunk directly. Think it limits, please enter, continue to get more. Okay, continue. Let's see if the plan change. Still one credit it's used right now. Good. Okay, it's checking the index page. Testimonials. Call to action for Darmor styling. So, yeah, I mean, this was not prompting from the beginning to add the dark mode, but I just want to see how try it's doing in a project that it's existing. Okay. So yeah, you see that it's quite fast, like the others. This is the Cloud for Sonnet that it's fast. It still has Okay. Testimonials has 191. Okay. Call to action. This one has 85 rows. It shouldn't have like a lot of things to do anymore. Okay, let's see. Ah, okay. So right now, this is the dark mode that I managed to add. So you see in here that it's looking quite nice. And let's see. Yeah, I did a very good job. Let's check the about. This hasn't been modified in the completely or in some components services again not all was modified contact okay this has been modified and the toggle is not working to switch between the modes i will tell him that dark mode toggle is not working it needs to Work with the wind CSS for. Yeah, I'm just curious to see if it can implement this. Okay, reading the files that it needs global.
This one is not using any tail and config. Okay. Let's see if the account setting. So yeah, I have two requests that have been made. Okay, it modifies the global. The right now this should work, I think. Not working. So he told that uh, this should work, but it not working really. So yeah, it's not working. I think it was too tall. It doesn't really matter. And yeah, but yeah, you get the picture, you see the, how it's working uh, and uh, this is uh, the fault of the LLM that it didn't manage to implement the proper dark mode with Tenerian CSS4. But again, right now you manage to understand how Z it's working and maybe you have an idea how it compares with the other two that I've tested, ZAI and uh, Augment code. So you can see if... Uh, yeah, it, you can buy it or uh, you can use another one. And right now I have three requests. Okay, so yeah, this is counting only the requests that you make. So this is good. I still have 600 to do other things. And the good part of try is the fact that you can use also Google 2.5 Gemini, the Pro 1. So you can switch between the two of them. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. In case you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe.